Most of us grow up, I think, coming to the Bible in small piecemeal kind of packages. We memorize a verse, John 3.16. We learn a, a, a small Bible story in Sunday school, Jonah and the whale, Jesus feeding the 5,000. Um, perhaps we graduate from that to maybe I'll read an entire book of the Bible and, and, and see that story together. I think there's a lot that's great in that. One of the things that is lost, however, is seeing the larger sweep of what is happening in Scripture. My youngest daughter, a couple years ago, had to do a, a project for school, uh, a weaving. And she spent days and days, literally weeks, weaving this little uh, piece together. And this is, a, this is a fragment of a fragment. This isn't even a complete piece of clothing or a blanket. And yet, the intricacy of, of taking a strand and working it through, working it through again and again, repeating patterns over and over again, I think what we see when you look at scripture as a whole is something very much like that. Um, individual ideas, individual words or concepts that begin at the very earliest pages of the Bible in Genesis or Exodus and then continue to weave their way through, work their way through scripture until Revelation. Think of the idea of shalom, which for us often means little more than maybe peace or a greeting in Jewish and Hebrew. Um, but for the people of Israel, shalom is this very rich, textured idea of wholeness, rightness, everything as it should be, everything just as God intended. You see this in the garden, and then you see this tragic loss of shalom. But a theme that works its way through all of scripture, at times kind of underneath the surface and not incredibly visible, at times very prominent, is God moving towards this restoration of shalom. Or a word like hesed, uh, God's covenant love, God's steadfast faithfulness. We often think of the Old Testament as these striking um, stories of God's violence. But if you look for examples, threads of how, how, is, how do we see God's patient, tenacious, relentless love. I, I have chosen you, Israel, and I will not give you up. Uh, over a thousand years of, yes, there are ups and downs, there are peaks and valleys, there's times when God's love manifests itself like a frustrated or angry parent, but over and over again, this relentless heartbeat of hesed, of steadfast love, pushing all the way through ultimately to Jesus, to again, to the eschaton, to revelation, the end of all things, that what is, what is the culmination that God's love has triumphed, God's love has pushed through and, and faithfully um, brought creation to consummation, to this return to shalom. Uh, shalom, hesed, covenant, words like this weave their way again and again through the narratives of scripture. When we only look at isolated stories, we can miss that. When you step back and see the whole like a thread weaving its way through a fabric. Um, it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful uh, way that God patiently and slowly works ideas and themes through all of scripture, through all the story of, of Israel and all of the story of the Bible.